Coco is purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Mommy Mommy isn't here but I'm here Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your husband Judith, do you remember me? Twinkle twinkle little stars There is no stars in the sky today Everywhere is blank There is a star in the sky, look up See that star I see the star, I see it it's a beautiful star, just like you, Judith. Am I beautiful, Nathan? Nathan, daddy, daddy. Who is Nathan? My, my, my baby. Where is my baby? Mommy, mommy, where is my baby? Mommy, where is my baby? I'll buy you a baby. I'll get you a baby. I want my baby. Nathan, Nathan. Nurse, doctor, doctor. You seem to be in a bright mood today. You bet I am. I've been able to save up to my target for this month. Can you believe it? Wow, that's nice. I hope you won't take the money and go and give Ezra because I know you and how you can be. I won't do that. I'm not the same lady you used to know. I will say you said so, Ada. You don't need to believe me. See, I won't do it. I'm not a fool anymore. It's just because I have not been able to get the money I want from him. Let me guess. He's refusing to give it to you. He and I have not been talking and it's all part of my plan. I can't wait for it to go well so you and Mr. Emmanuel can get together. Nah, nah. I'm not going to be with a married man, Gina. See what Tina did to my home. Do you think I want another woman's home to be broken? For your information, Mr. Emmanuel is no longer married. I don't care. I won't still have anything to do with him, Regina. The last thing on my mind right now is men. I've had enough from them already. How many men have you dated that you are saying you've had enough? <laughs> Just Ezra. And you know if only you had listened to my advice back then, none of this would be happening to you right now. Enough of me. What's going on with you and James? We are making plans on leaving town to somewhere else. Wow, for real? Yeah, and this time around, it will really work out. I'm happy for you guys, Gina. The idea of you leaving me here all alone. I won't leave you alone. You should know I'm taking you with me. Hey, look at you. I'm happy for you, Regina. My love. You're back, Ellie. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. I was missing you, so I said I better come back home and check on you. See if you are bored. I am bored, Isra. Sit here all day and do nothing but eat and sleep. I told you I should open up a little business for you, but you disagreed. How much will you give me to start the business? How about two million? That's quite a lot of money. I think I will accept the idea of the business. So what business do you have in mind? I don't know yet. Maybe running a clothing store, I think so. Alright, let's see how you do with the money I give you. If you do well, in a month time, I'll increase the money. Oh baby, thank you so much. And I promise you that I'll do so well. I'll hold you to your words. At least I will have something doing, although I have always wanted to work from home. Anything you decide to do with the money will be fine with me, Tina. And if you decide you don't want to do anything, that's still okay with me either ways. I'll still take care of you. And that would be mocking me that I'm a housewife with no job. I'll place you on the salary if that's the case. Nathan, Nathan. Who the hell is Nathan? I'm sure there is something more to all of this. This man called Nathan must know something about what's wrong with my wife. It's so heartbreaking to see her that way. Helpless. I'm the cause of all this in a lot of ways, but I'm going to correct all of this. She must be normal again. I'll do everything in my power. Veronica. Surprise. Hello, daddy. What are you doing in Nigeria, baby? Shouldn't you be in London? What is the use of me staying in London all alone, dad? What's the fun in that, dad? You made friends over there and you told me we are all going to enjoy your time with them. I'm back home, dad. Or don't you want me here? I'm just surprised you are back, that's it. Well, I'm back and I'm better. Dad, I want to be brought back to the company. You are just back from your trip and you are already talking of work. I don't want to be lazying around anymore, dad. I want to take charge of my life. Like you have always wanted me to do that. You should be proud of me. Dad, that's true. I'm proud of you. Definitely I am. Ada? What are you doing here, Ezra? I'm here to see you. For some time now, we've both been avoiding each other. And that's what it looks like to me. I've not been avoiding you. Why would I do that? I see your restaurant is booming with lots of sales. Again, congratulations. Thank you, but I could do better if you support me with some money. I don't have any money at the moment, but when I do, I will definitely give you. You don't have money or you don't want to give me money? I don't have money. Whatever you say, it's not like you even give me the money if you have it. Come on, baby. You know if I have, I will give you. Remember I was the one that gave the money to start your restaurant. 
Were you the one? I don't think so anymore because you took away more than that from me when you stole from me, remember? I didn't mean to steal from you. I explained it. Just like you didn't mean to get married to Tina or get her pregnant, right? I have my fault here, but you made me do all this. Spare me all this, please. Can't we be like the way we used to be, Ada? Please, I beg of you. We are like we used to be, Ezra. We are the same. We are not. I know you are offended at me, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I've had your apology. Is that all? So where do you have in mind for us to go to? We can go anywhere you want. I'm asking you to make your choice, Gina. This is a blank check. Is Steve back? Yes, he's back. And he's paid me and my brothers for bringing back his wife to him. Wow. Yeah, I have money. You have money, Gina. Chief must really love your sister, though. He loves her and he has promised me that he will treat her right much better than before. He hasn't been treating her well. Is that what this means? He will treat her right. That's all that matters. Now, I kind of understand why your sister didn't want to come back home. She wasn't happy with Chief. I didn't say so. Don't you think you made a mistake by bringing her here? I don't worry about my sister. Your focus should be on me, be on us. James! Where would you love us to go to? In a country. Let's say we go for like three months vacation and come back. So, in the office, I want a good position, Dad. And I want to be part of the board member. You will have to walk yourself to that place, Vero. Come on, Dad. Please. I want to be on the board. I'm begging you. You are not threatening me. I am not just doing that. Why should I threaten you, Dad? I just want to show you that I'm going to do everything right this time. Fine. I've heard you. You have to prove yourself, though. Prove myself like Victor. What? Come on, Veronica. I didn't see anything like that here. It isn't that. Where is Clara? She should come and take this back. Are you sure you're okay with all of this? Dad, I'm fine. And I was just joking with what I said. I, believe me, I'll be more than willing to prove myself to you, Dad. You don't need to prove anything to me. You'll get the job and also be part of the board members. I'll give you your mom's shares. They are all yours, though. Really, Dad? You will give me? Yes, I will. Thank you, Daddy. You won't regret this, I promise you. I know that. And I won't. And I'm sorry about Victor. I'm very sorry. Daddy, I don't know what you're talking about. Clara! Clara! Come and take my bags. I checked out the mail, girl. See, it was just as you said. <laughs> Don't you trust your friend? Come and see everything that I bought. I shopped with 1.2 million at a spot. She bought all these stuff today. Tina and shopping. I'll have to call you back. My mother-in-law is there. I see you have gone shopping again, Tina. Yes, mommy. There's this new spot that my friend told me about and I went to check it out. How many places have you gone to check in the past few weeks? Mommy, don't tell me you've got an issue with my shopping. I don't have an issue with it. It's just that your wardrobe are full already. Mom, I'll create space for them. I will give out my old clothes to the orphanage homes, then put in all these new ones. Orphanage home? Yes, Mom. That is my own way of community service. Okay, darling. What about the business you were meant to do? Mommy, I'll still do it. I am still surveying the market. What did you get for me from your shopping? Or you didn't get me anything. Mommy, I have got you a very beautiful shoe. You're going to love it. Here she is, lying down peacefully and enjoying everything that comes from my diet. Daddy wants to treat her right, love her, care for her and also protect her. But he has forgotten that he took the person I love from me. He took Victor and now he wants to be happy with her. Life doesn't work that way. If I'm not happy, he can't be happy as well. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the person who has come to put you out of this misery you are in. Mommy, did my mommy send you here? Mommy, mommy. What is this? Oh there, Judith. Mommy, mommy, where is my mommy? She's gone. Your mommy is gone. Gone? What? Where are you in now? Judith. Don't call me Judith. Call me James. I'm James. Whatever you choose for them to call you, I don't care. But you are not going to get well and come and stay with my dad. Not going to happen, Judith. Is that my medicine? It's your medicine, darling. It only hurt a bit and then you'll be fine. Will I see mommy after taking the medicine? Yes, you will see mommy and also daddy. Now give me your hand. Let me give you your medicine. Now be a good girl and rest. The star, the star. Yes, look at the star. It is a very, very big star. Take a good look at it. Mommy, my mommy, my mommy. I'm sorry, but you brought this to yourself, Judith, right from the start. Veronica. James, what? What are you doing here? Shouldn't I be the one asking you what are you doing here? Yeah, my dad said you had 
left town with your lover. I came to check on my sister and see how she's doing, right? Yeah, I came to do that, you know. That's so caring of you. Thank you, and welcome back to town. Thank you. Were you able to get anything on Victor's case? Not really, but I think I know those who are involved in his death. Are you for real? I hope you reported to the police. I didn't report to the police. What can they do about it? Justice for Victor. I don't think so. I'm going to do things my way though, an eye for an eye. You are taking laws into your hand. I'm just like those who killed Victor, took the law into their hand. Is everything okay, mom? Everything is fine, but I need to talk to you soon. Okay, let's go inside and talk. No, we can't talk inside. Let's talk here, son. I don't want anyone hearing us. Okay, what is it, mom? What did I tell you on giving Tina money continuously? Like, you are just plucking money from the tree. Mom, I've already reduced the way I'm giving her money. The money I even gave her lastly. You have given her the money? Yes, mom, I have. And she told me she would go into the shopping business, buying and selling of clothes. You mean her buying more clothes to her wardrobe and changing clothes like a chameleon is right? Mom, what happened? Your lovely fashion wife just bought new clothes today. And I heard her telling her friends her shopping costs 1.2 million. Maybe she has her own money. It is the business money you gave her that she has spent. Ezra, stop giving that girl money. That's my own final word to you. Mom, if I stop giving her money, then who will not give her money? Who? You are spoiling her. What happens when there is no money flow like before? I understand what you are saying. Get her a business to be doing. That's way better than all this money you are giving her, son. It's been a while since we saw Rita. That's because you're no longer in need of my services and don't check up on me anymore. How have you been? I've been the way you left me, Mike. I left you as a wealthy woman and I can see that you're still doing very well for yourself. I'm not going fine, Chief. Look at me. What is the problem, Rita? Why did you ask that we see? Always ready to hit the main point so that you can get going home to Veronica, right? Why did you ask that we meet, Rita? I need your help, Chief. Some of my boys were arrested. Okay, I'll give you a phone number to call. Tell them you are from Chief. I can't make the phone call. The policemen are on to me and they want to pin me down. I'm the one asking you to make the call. Make it for me, Chief. Please. I beg of you. If you can't make the call, I can't make it as well. Who knows if you are setting me up? Why would I set you up? Are the police on to you as well? Why don't you tell me, since you are trying to set me up? I'm not trying to set you up. I need your help here, yeah, please. I'll give you the number, then you make the call. Oh, damn it. Why did James have to meet me here? Why did he have to see me here? I just hope he doesn't say anything to my dad. Please, God, let him be going straight to UK as he said he would. Daddy can't know this was my doing. He mustn't know I have planned to take out Judith. This will ruin all of my plans for me. Damn it. How could Danos have even allowed him in after I paid her? These people don't know what they are meant to do. Why did I even pay her? Why? How was everything at the store today? It went well. How about you? How did everything go today? It went well. I enjoyed myself. So have you gotten a place you want to rent? No, I haven't. I didn't get the location I want for the shop. Most of the stores I was seeing, they were located far away. Okay, so what do you intend to do now? I don't know. Maybe for now, I'll be at home. You want to be home? Yes, and you pay me monthly for being at home. How much do I pay you monthly as a housewife? Half a million at least. You've got to be kidding. But on a serious note, how much do you need me to pay you monthly? Half a million, Israel. Is it too small? I can't pay you that. You know what? I think it would be better if you set up the shop. I just told you I didn't get the one I want, the location. Alright then. Did you see any shop location that you like? I did, but it costs around 2 million. Okay. And you think sales will be good there? The clothing store will sell well there? Yes. I think you should take the store, pay for the rent, then afterwards come and see me, so I'll give you money on getting goods. What about the money for the shop rent? I believe I sent you 2 million for the store, so use that money. Baby! Don't baby me. Rent the shop first, then we talk. Was it that hard for you to make the call? It wasn't hard, and thank you so much, Mike. You are always welcome. What do you say one of these days we go out and have fun like we used to? Veronica wouldn't like that. Isn't she meant to be married by now? And last time, I heard she was out of town. You've been following up on my daughter's life, I see. Not really. I was just opportune to see her when she left town with her lover. When she left town with her lover, we both were on the same plane. I see. So what do you see on that? We go out to our favorite spots that year. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that would be possible. Come on, Mike. We both ended our relationship because of your younger daughter. And now she's no longer here. And now she's no longer here. So what's so what's even stopping us really? I am excuse me, I have to pick this call. Hello, doctor. What? How is that possible? You better not allow anything to happen to my wife. Else, I'll make sure to shut down the whole hospital. What the hell? Did I hear you say your wife? I don't have time for all these chats. I need to go right now. Why do you just like barging into my room as you like? Because it's our room, Ada. I know it's our room, but at least you should have knocked on the door. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Remember you said we are normal? Yeah, we are normal. I said that. Have you heard from Regina yet? Yeah, I have. Last we spoke, they were on the way to the airport. Same thing James had told me. It's funny though, that we are the one that made them get together, you know? Yeah, that's true. I just hope he treats her right. He would. He's a really great and sweet guy, believe me. I hope he won't someday bring another woman to the house one day. He, he won't do that. I'll say you said so, but I won't be surprised if he should ask. Also one day bring another woman to the house. Bears of the same feather flock together. I thought you forgiven me. I have, baby. I'm just stating the obvious for us. That's what I'm doing here. How about you put all this aside and talk on something else? What do you want us to talk about? Making babies. <laughs> you're funny, Ezra. You're really funny. Oh God, please let her be okay. Let everything be fine with her. I can't lose another person I love again. Please, I beg of you. Daddy, is everything okay? I don't know, Veronica. I just got the call. Daddy, you are breathing heavily. Can you please calm down, Daddy? Calm down, please. I can't be calm. It's just too much for me to bear. What happened, Dad? Is she okay? I don't know, but I hope she is. The doctor told me she was feeling better already. Only for me to get a call that someone is trying to kill her. What? Is she okay, though? She's in a critical condition right now, battling between life and death. The nurse that spoke to me told me she was injected with a substance that messed her up the more. I don't know, but I'm already carrying out my investigations. I pray she's fine. Who would do something like that to her? Oh my god. Veronica, I can't lose her. I love her. I really love her. She'll be fine, daddy. And even if she dies, you'll still find love again. But I hope she survives. Everything will be okay. Everything will not be okay if she dies. She won't die, daddy. Have you taken your drugs today? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Judith should be our focus. Dad, you are my focus. You're my priority, dad. You come first for me before anyone else. Let's go and get you your drugs so you'll be strong. I'm fine. I'm okay. I am serious here. Let's make babies. Go and meet Tina to make babies. I'm sure she would be more than happy. It's you I want to make babies with, not Tina. I've had a long day at work. Please, Ezra, I need to rest. I need you tonight, Ada. I'll be more than patient and understanding with you, haven't I? I don't want to make babies tonight. Maybe another time. You are still my wife. I hope you remember. I remember that. Ada. Ezra, what has come over you? Are you sure you're okay? Are you fine? Don't make me force you, Ada. Just agree to this. Let's do what we've got to do. And I leave you all alone. I might even give you money if you need. I'm not interested in you or your money. Get out of my room. You are trying to be stubborn, right? I will deal with you tonight. Help! Help me! Help! I know, but I'm kind of feeling somehow leaving now. Is this because of Ada? Yes, it is. I wish she can come with us. I know you love her and care about her, but she will be fine. I hope she makes the right decision very soon, so she can be free of Ezra. What do you mean by right decision here? She should end things with him and move on with someone else. I don't think that's the right decision. Ezra wants to work out things with her. He's married to Tina. Why should she be with someone who brought in another woman to their home and disrespected her? Baby, let's talk something else, please. Fine, let's not ruin the moment. So what's the first thing we are going to do once we get over there? Sightseeing. That's what we are going to do over there. Haven't you checked some places we are going to visit in UK? I've got quite a list of them. Look. Mr. James, right? Yes, I'm the one. Is everything okay? Can the both of you come with us? You're invited to the station for some questions. What? I I think you're making a mistake. I'm Mr. James Johnson. You're the one, sir. Please just come with us willingly. So we don't create a scene. What is this about? Please, I don't understand. Like I could go